Let me just share with you a couple scriptures. One day, Jesus was getting ready to leave. And he says to his disciples, I'm leaving. And they're going, "Uh uh-oh, how are we going to follow you anymore? And then Jesus said this in John 14, the Father is going to send another one just like me. And he's going to be with you forever. He's going to be in you. And that person that God sent when Jesus went back to heaven was the Holy Spirit. The third person, the Trinity. If you're a Christian today, you have the Holy Spirit living in you. And the Bible tells us some of the attributes. You see, when Jesus walked with the disciples, they didn't have to make decisions because Jesus made the decisions for them. They were protected. They were taught. They were guided. They, were, they understood the kind of things. They watched how he ministered. They were corrected when they did things wrong. How come this little boy didn't get healed? Jesus said, that, oh, that only comes by fasting and prayer. You didn't do it. You thought you just in your name he was going to do it. No, no, it's not that. This morning, if you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit in you, God in you. When we leave this building, we'll go to a thousand different places in all of our campuses. Who's with you? God. What is he doing in you? Teaching you, comforting you, guiding you, giving you wisdom, helping you make decisions. Will he spiritually exercise for you? No. Who has to do that? You do. Well, Pastor Mark, why why won't he exercise for me? I'd love it. He does the next best thing. Take a look at this verse. It's a verse that says that God's at work in us. We scoot all the way down to the verse in Philippians. Look what it says. It's a verse you need to understand. It'll be on the overhead in a second. Notice. Read it out loud with me right now. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Now, we're going to read it again, but you're going to say your name. All right, here we go. For God is working in me, Mark, giving me the desire and the power to do what pleases him. What pleases Jesus? For you to be a growing disciple. Sticky in the word of God. A new convert that doesn't grow doesn't please Jesus. A carnal Christian who is a baby Christian, always complaining, always thinking about, is never pleases Jesus. The only way we'll win our world is to be growing, maturing disciples.